I had a request for some help um, from uh, someone in one of the Facebook groups that I frequent and they were having a problem um, trying to do some simple profile cuts on a file and they sent me the file and I took a look at it and um, then once we got their problem solved they uh, allowed me to go ahead and use this file as an example to um, show you a few things about uh, vCarve. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, project right here and what we have here is just some simple profile cuts following these vectors um, just an outside profile here and then all of these spaces in here and in here and in between the uh, characters the letters to be cut out now let me give you a, a little idea of what we're looking at here this is what we're hoping to end up with so as you can see we have these little flourishes down here that um, stay connected to the uh, to the main outer circle here and um, that's fine I mean it's a half inch thick material it'll be a nice deep relief for hanging on the wall so the first thing that jumps out at me well there's a couple of things that jump out at me here um, but the first one that jumps out at me is that these vectors were all imported from a DXF file and the way I can tell that is when I look over here at the layer manager it opens up to layer 0 now layer 0 and I can confirm this by going down here and looking at my tabs and clicking on the layers tab and we see here that we have layer 1 and layer 0. Now layer 0 is used by DXF and DWG files. If I come over here into another instance of vCarve Pro and look at something that I drew up myself and we go down here and look at the layers all there is is layer 1. That's what vCarve Pro defaults to when you first start drawing is a single layer then you add layers as you deem them necessary but uh, in the case of this other file over here we see there's layer 0 is added now that's a holdover uh, uh, as I say from the DXF file um, some people see layer 0 as kind of a, an artifact from times gone by uh, that was first started in AutoCAD um, and very few at the time very few vectors if any were put on layer 0 that was used by AutoCAD itself uh, to hold data and uh, so consequently DWG and um, DXF files all have this layer 0 because AutoCAD being the number one CAD program out there um, it still uses it so just about every other uh, program that will export a file into uh, DXF format uses layer 0 for something and if we go back into the layers we can see uh, by turning it off so that it's not displayed it was our major design that was included on layer 0. Layer 1 just happens to be the outside profile. So that's anyway having a layer 0 is just fine it's no problem I mean it'll all work everything is great it's just that's how I know right off the bat that this was this data was imported from a DXF file is layer 0. So the problems they were having and I'll just go ahead and show you what they were attempting to do by selecting my vectors oops missed one and you can begin to see because I missed that one the problem is the vectors are not joined they're not closed vectors so if we go over here to create calculate toolpaths we we'll want a simple profile toolpath our cutting depth is the thickness of our material the end mill uh, doesn't really matter in this case because I'm just demonstrating this but we go with a uh, 0.125 inch end mill we want to cut to the inside of these vectors 
and I'm not going to do anything else down here. I'm just going to calculate the tool paths and this is the error message they were getting. They were ignoring the unsuitable open vectors. Okay, and so you go ahead and calculate that tool path and you see these are the only closed vectors within this artwork. So that's not going to work. So what we're going to have to do is go back and try to figure out, I'll delete this right now, so we'll have to go back in here and figure out how many open vectors we have. Now it said it was ignoring 17, so that's quite a few. So the easiest way to find out where my open vectors are is to right click and select all open vectors. And we see that we've got a bunch. Okay, well the first thing we can try is we can try to come over here since we haven't selected Let's go over here and try to join them and see what happens. And that's not going to be any help. It says here that we have 16 open vectors and our join button is grayed out. So what do you do in that kind of a situation where you have vectors that you know are open but it won't join? Well now is when we got to try to get into a little bit of editing. Now. Some of you seasoned veterans are probably yelling at your screen right now. You can see four glaring examples. And that is this vector here and this vector here. They go straight across. It's meant to join this vector and this vector. And this should be left blank. There shouldn't be anything in there. Because as we can tell by the photo here, this portion here is supposed to join into this portion right here. And it can't do that if there's a line there to keep it in, uh, to dividing it basically. So the easy thing right off the top is to come over here to our trim tool, which looks like the pair of scissors. And we want to make sure we got a check mark right here where it says rejoin the trim sections automatically when the form is closed. What that means is when we come in here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, we come in here and we trim this vector, click, we have joined it, this vector to this vector, and this vector to this vector up here. So now it's a matter of coming around and snip, snip, snip. Well, that eliminates those problems. But now just looking over here to the bottom left, I can see that there is another problem right here. And that is when whoever created this DXF file drew it up in whatever program they use, they kind of overshot it a little bit. So our endpoint for this vector doesn't meet the endpoint for this vector. So what we'll have to do is just come in and trim that back. Now because we have this check marked here, it automatically joined this vector to this one. So now it's a simple matter of going around, and I'm going to try to do this slowly so I don't make you all seasick, going around and trimming up any spots where we see that the vectors don't line up. So I move around and here's another example. So just to show you what we've done, if I close this, zoom back out, now come down here, right click, select all open vectors, we already have fewer than we did before. So now what we're going to have to do is just go around and investigate, do a little bit of hunting, grab our scissors, make sure we got our check mark, and snip, and snip and go just go all the way around and clean it up. And you can tell when you're on a vector by looking at the scissors they are closed now but once we get to a vector in an area that we can trim they open up. Then we do our snip snip snip. Okay now we'll come down here and sure enough that one needs it and sure enough that one needs it. Now when I get down here, here we have a little bit of a, a problem as well. 
Now, if I were to try to trim this up, I could come over here and just trim this up, but it's going to do a lot of removal right there. We don't want that. So let me hit Control Z to undo that. And I will close this form. And I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to highlight the vector, or select the vector rather, and go into Node Editing. And I see right here that we have a point here and several points out here. There's a lot of points in this. So if I come along here and just delete this point, that removed that entire vector there. Now I can zoom in here and see that this vector's point comes here. And I can move this now. Let me move, zoom out, move again, and drop it right on top of that point. And what that does is that lines up this point with this point, so we've got the same curve going all the way around. But now when I deselect, click to deselect, right click to exit node editing, we match up. Okay. Now I'll deselect again, zoom out all the way, right click, select all open vectors. I've still got one up here. I thought I got them all but that's okay. Go in. There's that corner there. Snip. Whoops. Got too close. Snip. Whoops. Okay. Control Z. So I'll do the same thing I did with the other one. Go back to my standard select tool. Select this vector. Type N for node editing. Delete that point and that deleted the entire thing. Okay, fine. So, sometimes you got to experiment. So instead, I'll just grab that point, put it right on top of this one, and that should close that vector. Sometimes you got to play, sometimes you just got to explore. Now, let's zoom out. Right click, select all open vectors, no open vectors in design. Okay? Now, when I hold down Control, tap A to select all, hold down Shift, and then deselect that outer circle, I have all of my vectors here selected. I can go over, do a 2D profile tube path. My cutting depth is half inch. My end mill hasn't changed. Number of passes don't matter for this instance and I want to machine to the inside of the vectors. And we'll just go down here, calculate, and we have them all selected. Preview. And there we go. Now we get the entire design. Then I can close this, go back here, select the outside, Again, none of this needs to change. We are going to cut to the outside of this vector because this is our outside profile. And we'll calculate that and preview it. And there we go. Our design is done. So, basically, what we need to do when we start having problems or we see that vectors are being ignored we know we have open vectors and there's more than one way to go in and join them sometimes you do have to do a little playing around sometimes you have to try two or three different methods but no matter which method works so long as you can close that vector join those open vectors um, you should have no problem after that so and there's our finished design. So, I hope you got something out of this. Um, if you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up down there. And if you'd like to be notified the next time I post a video, please consider subscribing. It really does make a difference. Well, whether you subscribe or not, thank you very much for watching, and y'all take care.